Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Recruit and Training Command Orlando. We're very pleased to have you here this morning. My time in the Navy started in February of 1977. So 40 years ago today, I was in my third week in boot camp here in Orlando. As a graduate of RTC Orlando, and then later working on base RTC Orlando as a civilian, I had a lot of good memories of that particular area. So when the decision was made to close the base, there was a little, a little sadness. It was an understanding that things changed in the Navy. The commissions were very objective, worked long hours, worked very hard in trying to come up with the right answer with regard to this particular facility. And I think in the end, uh, their decision, the commission's decision unanimously, was a correct decision and one that was based on that objective judgment. People would come up to me in tears in the Orlando community about the demolition of the base. They didn't understand the BRAC process. They didn't understand why their base is going away. A lot of the folks around here that have been here years and years and years just called this place a Navy town. They have memories of things like parades on Saturday, the graduation parades, the music, and they didn't understand why it had to, had to go. The great thing about Blue Jacket Park today is it's one of the most vibrant places and it's one of the very few places that you could actually still recognize if you knew what was there before in that it doesn't have buildings, houses, whatever else. The line of trees is still there. So it's, it's probably the only recognizable place and it's used heavily almost every day of the week. The importance of the Lone Sailor statue for our piece of ground, for Blue Jacket Park, marks the sacrifice that the young men and women made over 30 years. Thank you.